Welcome everyone to Mystopia, a game that actually just got released today on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation. I believe, I don't believe any other consoles, but I'm not too sure about that, but regardless, this is a game that I've been kind of looking forward to here and there because I was looking and reading about this and it's kind of like a Metroidvania style of a 2D platformer, which I very much enjoy, Metroid at least. I haven't played too much of Castlevania, unfortunately, but I do want to get into that series a hell of a lot more than I am now. Uh, but yeah, regardless, I was like, you know what, let me check it out. I'm just going to actually play this at launch. Yeah, it's it's like a brand new, also kind of like rebranding for this channel. When it comes to things like uh, new thumbnails now, I have a new thumbnail uh, that are going to go for future Let's Plays, a uh, new, new banner as well. Just... Good stuff, good stuff, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do start, because there was no options here, just language, sound effects, music, that's all good like that. Let's just go ahead and do this here, and let's see the little bit of a intro for the story. I have to get better at shooting. Rich! And they keep on distracting me. Dang it, and now my bow is broken. What next? Rich! Come quickly! Ah, oh, they're calling me. Let me go see what they need. Okay, so it's saying use L to move. Got it. You can jump with B, I see. Press B to jump. Oh, I already figured that out, okay. Sure, little tutorial. Press A to attack with the sword. Okay, interesting. It's pretty simple. Into the caves. Press B to talk. Who did this rabbit? Just kidding. I think it's you. Richie. Hello? What's going on? Where is everyone? Listen to me, Rich. Everyone was taken to the caves. They need help. And you're the only one who can save them. The caves are to the west of the village. Richie! What's going- wait. Oh, same thing. Okay, got it. Sorry, I thought, um, it looked a little deceiving because, like, when this thing was on, it looked like, oh, he's going to say something else, but no. Um, let's see, so... Oh, cool, you can actually jump on top of this stuff, huh? That's pretty interesting. Can I hit that bell over there? I can. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'll be honest, I actually love the artwork, I really do. Fountain pieces, 0 out of 10. Oh. Into the forest. Okay, how do I... I have to go west, don't I? He was saying to that part over there, so I think it makes most the most sense to be doing that. Into the caves. I mean, that's where I was just... Wait. How did I... Okay, that was weird. Anyway, let's see here. Press L to open the map. Oh, yes, there's a map. Oh, my God, it actually is like Metroid. Jesus Christ, that's actually pretty cool. All right, got it. Well, let's see here. So we can actually find any um any enemies anything here hmm not really okay one of the things about a lot of platformers is like are there secret passages most platformers do have that kind of stuff so we just have to kind of see you know three hits okay i just got some green stuff whatever that is i'm sure the game will explain it in just a little bit right okay those don't even move like, at all. Okay, pretty simple stuff right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's... Okay, one hit. Press, um, left plus B to fall through a platform. Got it. So you, you want to hold it down. Yep, that's okay. That's a very... Oh, look at that. It looks like I can go over there, but maybe not until I have another ability or something. Hmm. So I believe this works with basically, like, any platform. Are you gonna hit me? No? Yeah, like, any of these platforms, I can just go down and B and I would fall through. Alright, so there's actually two ways to go here. I'm not really sure which one is the way to progress. Seem oh, shoot! Why did I just jump in there? Okay, so three hits for each, it seems. I'll, I guess I'll take this stuff, whatever that is. And then just more stuff. Okay, nothing there. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn back in that case. 
And let's just see. Okay, so enemies respond right away in this game. It is very important to know that kind of stuff. What? Oh shit, okay, uh, I'll tell you right now one thing that's gonna be a little bit weird and maybe frustrating sometimes is the... Oh, I'm already dead. Dude. Yeah, it's the, um... Uh, sorry, sorry about my shitty gameplay right now, people. I mean, I am. This is the first time I'm ever playing it. I haven't had any practice at all. Not that that should be an excuse, but I'm just saying. It'll take me a little bit to get used to. But yeah, so if that was my fault, of course, for being stupid. Uh, one thing I will say is that the, um... The hitboxes are a little bit off in some angles. It's a little hard to explain that, but you kind of saw. I mean, I don't know how much you can get from just seeing as opposed to playing. But, um, it did seem a little weird. I will, I will be honest about that. Alright, so I want to see something. Does that thing get... See, it's still there again, so like, I could just hit it again? Which is actually very odd if you think about it. You can just, like, keep getting this stuff? Technically, yes. Hmm. Alright, well, let's try this again. This time, let's be better. Yeah, see, this looks a little weird, because... Hmm. Jesus. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go to the right side now and see what's over here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. See, a lot of this is just by kind of knowing their patterns, I would say. Well... Okay, I got you. But I kind of want to see, though. Okay, he stopped. What the fuck? Why did he stop? Okay, that was weird. Um, I guess I'll go to the right. Okay, it's actually... Oh, man, but see... Wait, is, is that... That's a pit, right? That, I, I think that's a pit. I really doubt that's gonna... I mean, I don't know. It depends on the platform. Some... Oh, shit. Some platformers don't have that kind of stuff. Okay, I almost died right there. The game actually can be quite challenging, I just noticed. And it's not really because... Well, I mean, it, you have three hit points, it seems. Danger. That's a boss, and I have one fucking hit point. Are you serious? Shit. Wow, look at that pattern right there. Alright, well I saved you. Hi, kid. Hello, savior. <laughs> Don't be afraid, I'll take you to the village. Thanks, but with that goblin gun, I can go. But before I forget, visit me later at the village. There's something I want to teach you. Okay. Is that it? Really? Okay, well let's try to... I'm dead. Okay. But I'm back at the village. What's up, dude? Thank you once again for saving me. I'm glad I helped. I hope that you're good at double jumping. Press B twice to double jump. See, that was definitely not a thing. Okay. I'll read something out. Thank you. Yeah, that was definitely not a thing. I don't think that... Oh, shoot. You, you actually had this all along. No, you didn't. I actually tried. I legitimately tried and it was not working. Okay. But, so basically I unlocked the new ability. Oh, can I go up there? Mm, there's nothing up there. Okay. Well, this means that we do get access to the pathway over there on the left side. Interesting. So it does. Oh, okay. So I can confirm that at the bottom down there, there's actually no um, additional pathway to go to. Because it's not showing on the map. Yet, it does. Oh, also, let me see. Okay, this has. Interesting. Yet it has um, your pathway to the left side over there. Okay. Which implies that. You no, that was a pit down there, not a pathway. I, I know it might seem obvious for some of you, like, duh, that's a pit. Not exactly though, if you are a veteran 2D platformer player, you would know that depending on the game, pathways to the bottom are either pits or accesses or access you to go to different places. It depends on the platform. For example, if we're talking about Metroid, if this game is deeming itself as Metroidvania, I'll actually argue that it makes more sense that it would not be a pit because in Super... I was about to say Super Metroid, no, in Metroid games in general that are platformers, 2D platformers, 
Uh, there are no pits. You can't die from falling into a freaking thing. No, it's just gonna keep taking you further down. Sure, at the bottom there might be spikes or lava, but that doesn't instantly kill you, you know? So I don't know if it's worth killing all these things. Like, I don't know what all this... Gr Is that just, like, money or something? The game hasn't told me that yet, so I'm not sure. A lot of this is also about keeping your distance, I have seen. Oh shit. I missed a thing over here. Give me that. So like, I can check here. Okay, see now, that one is not a pit. Interesting, so the other one was. Okay, let me go to the left first though. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna go down. Okay, so there's definitely multiple ways all over the place. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, my bad. Just go down. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Secret? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Where the hell am I now? Oh, the map is not popping up. This literally is a secret location that the map cannot show. Can I break that? No, I can't. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that's pretty simple. Oh, boy, those things actually fall. Oh, my God, be very careful about that. Uh, okay, nothing over there. That one falls, too. That's spikes. I don't know if spikes are insta-kills, but I shouldn't try and find out. Is there anything up there? The answer is no, there's not. There's more of these mushrooms. Now, you can still get your double jump from that mushroom. Okay. And this leads to... Oh, just run up to it. You find a piece of the fountain. Oh, cool. And that's it? That was the secret. Wow, okay. Well, we can get out of here now. And this time I guess I'll just go to the left, right? Dude, can you pick that shit up? Alright. Let's go this way and check it out. Ooh, this looks like a dead end or something. I mean, I hate to say that that's just a dead end, but it kind of looks like it's just a dead end. Well, in that case, there's only one way to go now. Shit. Oh my god, that thing. Okay, that was a good hitbox right there for me. Lucky hitbox. Oh shit. Oh, thank god, I got a lucky placement there. Alright, it's the only one way. I just gotta keep checking the map to see. So far we've explored everything. What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna skip over all these here because that was a little bit of a ridiculous room. This is a big room and there's... Oh my god. Oh wait, if you drop down, you don't get your second jump, which is very interesting. Also... That was actually a secret location. I mean, not like secret by the game standards, I meant that it didn't show on the map that you could go to the top. Which was very interesting. This leads to a secret. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't mean to- no, dude. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, nothing over there. I'm gonna have to fall down here. You can be very careful because you don't get your second jump if you just drop down. You have to jump down if you want it. What is that? Uh, which way should I even go here? Does that hurt you? No, it doesn't, but I thought it did. Alright, so there's actually nothing over there, so the only way to go is going to be to the right side. 
Yeah, it looks like it can hurt you without fire, but it doesn't. Um, let me check down here real quick. Oh. That's just a regular pathway. Alright, well there's nothing over here either. Can I just keep double checking here to make sure that there's like... Oh, look at that. That's actually invisible right there. I can't progress more to the right side, but look at that gap right there from the actual wall on my character. That's pretty funny. I missed a little green thing there, but that's fine. Oh, I got a piece. Find a piece of the fountain. Sweet. I will take that. Alright, now we just can we can just go ahead and drop down now, I suppose. Alright, so back in this part, there are multiple ways to go here. It is very oh shit. It is important to remember that, so let's see. I can I'm gonna start by going this way. What the fuck is that? What the hell is this shit? To the village? Is this a warp? I'm, I'm gonna be stupid and take it. Okay, I was not stupid. It's actually a shortcut, yes. Hell yeah. Alright, well that's, uh, that's good. I mean, I, I like that. I do like that a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Um, there's definitely multiple ways to go. I mean, there's still... Wait, there was a pathway to the bottom? Was I blind? Oh my god, I totally just ignored... I thought that was a pit. See, I'm telling you. God damn it, luckily the map actually tells you if it's a pit or not. Alright. I mean, those bats never even give you anything, though. Like, they don't... You can burn spider web. How? Uh, you didn't actually tell me how, dude. What? What? How would you... I mean, you said you can burn spiderweb, but... What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I mean, I see the fire there, but... You know what, maybe another ability first. Sorry, I'm probably just being stupid and there's this button or an action you have to do and I just totally missed that, but no, don't worry, I'll figure it out. Um, let's go... Ooh, the top right looks a little tempting, but I'm gonna go down first. Well, only one... Oh my god! I keep... You know what's happening? I'm pressing B to like cancel the map, but he also jumps. Like, look at this. If I'm on, if I'm on map, I'm like, alright, I see the, I saw the map. Let me press B. He jumps. It's not just a cancel. It's both cancel and jump at the same time. You have to press L to just close it regularly without jumping, which is very odd. Not the closing with L. It's The, the part that's odd is the fact that you're pressing one button but the game is doing two commands. That's actually very rare in video games for a button, for any one button or action to do that kind of stuff. As you can see, I'm getting a lot better. I haven't taken damage in a long time, but in the beginning I took a shitload of damage, so... Just saying. Whoops, why did I do that? The pit over there, there's pretty much nothing. I mean, there's a bunch of these jars and stuff, but like... Hmm. Also, I ended up not getting that thing because I zoned out. Oh my god. Okay, so I de definitely missed a spot up there. A uh, couple spots, actually. Uh, oh god. Okay, there's no need to go up there. I can just avoid that. I'm just gonna go through here. It's fine. Dude! Yeah, to attack the thing, you have to be at a decent range. I've noticed, like, or else you will not register the hit on those jars. You will not. Ah! Are you serious? He even- Oh, fuck that shit. Am I doing that again? I'm gonna take another hit. Also, one of the weird things is that I don't think you can heal health regularly in this game. Right? Whoa, that was a- Oh, shit. There's a secret over there. I'm taking it. Okay. Lots of spikes here, you gotta be very careful. Oh jeez. 
Oh my god, he just... Okay, what the fuck, man? How was I, how was I doing that before, but now they're hitting me? Okay, that was much safer. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh, that's... Oh, fuck me, dude. Well, the problem is I can't... Okay, that Oh, Jesus. That's not good. What, what's your attack? What are you doing? What the fuck? Did I just glitch him? I'll take it. Found a piece of fountain. He literally did not do anything but just stand there and take a- and just- He, he just let me beat the shit out of him. What the hell? I mean, I'll take that. Okay, so I can- Oh, why did I- Whoops. That guy totally camouflaged. I did not even see him. Oh my god. Alright, let's go down. Okay, this is definitely getting to be a little crazy, right? That's for sure. Oh shit. There's a stupid- oh crap. The thing is, there's two pathways. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Okay. That is also a dead end, but... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of dead ends with just pots. Makes me suspicious and think that there's actually more than just actual pots, but... Okay. Alright, let's see here. He's gonna have to go through there. Alright, there's somebody there. I don't know who the hell that is, but... What's up? Uncle Smith, what are you doing here? Some weird creatures trapped me here. Can you get out here on your own? Of course, I was looking for a source of those creatures' disease. Come see me when you're in the village. I'll give you a bow and some arrows, of course. Oh, thank you. I need that. So... I see. Basically, so you basically get abilities by unlocking more. Oh, shit. Yeah, you get more abilities um, by unlocking more mice or saving more of these mice, you know? Uh, which is kind of interesting for sure. How that works. So it's not there, but it's going to be to the left side. Yeah, so far, I mean, I would recommend avoiding those enemies that charge at you because sometimes it can be a little difficult. Or you can do like that, but don't just be aggressive because you'll more than likely take a hit. What the? F I thought I jumped over him. Oh my god, okay. Okay, gotta play it safe. Oh my god. Okay, I need to go... The thing is, I never explore a lot of different rooms in here. It makes me very curious, for sure. Yeah, see? Hmm. I probably shouldn't be stupid, though. Let's go back and get that bow and arrow first, because we're gonna need it. I'm dead. God. I should've just jumped back down and, you know... Well, it's fine, because I can just talk to... You! Have you found a bow? No, where is it? Oh, kids were playing with it. It must be here somewhere. Oh, I just have to... I like how it's like, have you found it? And it's literally right up here. Press Y to use a bow. Yeah, now I'm a pro. Good for you. By the way, if you find any green stones in the cave, bring them here. I'll try to use them to make some upgrades. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll, so I'll see how this works. I'm definitely going to take the warp. Um. Okay. Pretty damn far in here, so... I guess I can proceed by going... Well, there's a couple ways. Um, I think the actual way to progress would be to the left side. Because I think using bows with that fire is how you take out that web. Or using arrows, I should say. Whatever, same thing. Oh my god. But, there are some more rooms over here that I definitely want to explore. So... Hmm. Okay, so that's... Oh, I have 10 now. What's my limit? 
All right, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, give me that. Let's see, I guess I'll, um... Well... This all just looks very straightforward, I'll just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, and why did I do that? Okay, another big room here. Nothing over there, okay. This seems quite suspicious that it's such a long way for... I mean, hopefully it leads to a freaking mouse, right? <laughs> I hope so. Oh my god, I might be dead here. Oh no, I still have another hit point, my bad. Alright, let's go this way and see. What the fuck? Are you people seeing this? I should have went to the left over there first, god damn it. It's fine. Oh god, where the freaking hell did you come from? Okay. I'm gonna go down here and that's a warp. Yes. To the village. Into the caves. Wait, but that's... Do you get to choose where? No, you don't. So wait, how... Because wasn't that the same... Okay, that's weird. So... Does it just take you back to the last warp? That you chose? Oh man. I think that actually might be the case. Which is actually sort of shitty because see now I want to go back to the other one over there, you know? Really? They can't be that poorly designed, there's no way. There's no freaking way. Right? Maybe, maybe this guy changes your warp? The stones might be useful. I'm still examining them. When I discover something, you'll be the first to know. Really? I find that... I, I refuse to believe that. I really do, because it doesn't make a lot of sense to just eliminate a previous warp that you activated, you know? Unless maybe, like, this guy does something. That is not the case. Okay, well that's actually very fucking unfortunate. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now. Uh, there's only, I mean, there's only well, three, oh, three ways still that I can go, but there's one thing I wanted to make sure and confirm. And that was basically, because this is still basically like in the back of my mind. And I have to make sure Because, see, I've noticed that a couple doors don't actually appear. Like, on the map. I'm sure you noticed that, too. So, I want to make absolute certain... What happens if I jump here? Aha! See? I knew it. it, it so, there are no pits in this game. I knew it. Whoops. What was that? Just... Arrows? Well, I mean, unfortunately it was pretty much nothing, but... But now I know. Um, there are there are no pits in this game from what it looks like. Um, I have to go up to the top. Nowhere to the left. Because then from over there I can actually choose... Why did I do that? I'm down to one health. Well, that's not good. But yeah, um, sadly it seems that you can only have one damn warp at a time. Which means you have to be a little creative with how you approach this, because you could very easily fuck it up, you know? Like, very easily. I'm gonna get rid of you. So I can then go over here, and go to the left. Okay. I guess I'll go to the top one. 
Hmm. So there was pretty much nothing there. Oh no! Oh my god, I actually almost died right there. Alright, so this is the flame. So like, if you press Y... Oh, it's you can only shoot straight. Interesting. Yeah, okay, sorry, I know I've been wasting it, I was just making sure that you can't aim. Oh look, I finally got a heart, that's the first heart I've gotten, I think. Hmm. Alright, well I definitely missed another spot way down there, but I guess I can explore that for later. Um, or should I? I mean... Maybe I shouldn't, I mean, I'm already... Pretty close. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, there'd be down another spot. Oh, bo oh boy! Oh my god, I was very blind right there. Oh, what the heck? Wait, is this a secret? This is a secret! Whoa! I guess we can do this secret, right? I mean, I don't see why not. Oh, can you break? Hold on. Seriously? That thing just got immune to arrows. Okay, that doesn't work. Never mind. All right. Um. Shit. Oh my god, this place is a disaster over here. It is very big though. Oh shoot, stupid mushrooms. So they only move once, I've noticed, and once you hit them, like, that, you're good. It's all good. Alright, I got it. I'm actually gonna end it here, I think. It's a good good time to end it. Now, one thing I want to see is, like, how does how exactly does this work when it comes to, like... Like, if I were to just save... I mean, there's actually more and more still over there, but... Um, if I were to save... Does it literally put you- oh, that's actually a dead end right there. You know, it totally is okay, so I don't want to explore that area, but I'll definitely keep going down, I suppose. Sure. Um, okay. But yes, I will continue this next time, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I appreciate it very much, thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.